Yo, what's going on, guys? Impair here. Today we're here. We're going over the top five attackers in Rainbow Six. Now, this is mostly for new people who are coming into the game and trying to find what characters they should get for attack. And this is mostly going to just be going over the characters and their abilities. We're not going to be talking about the guns. You guys have to find out which of the guns is better for you, which one helps you when you are playing and things like that guys now if you guys want to go ahead and leave a like on this video for the top five defenders in the next video tomorrow let me know down in the comments below what type of people do you guys think would be perfect for that one and other than that guys let's get right into the video So for the first person, and I think the first person anybody new to Rainbow Six should buy is Ash. Ash is a very versatile character when it comes to attacking. She has also a very powerful pistol that you can uh, use as well as a G360, I believe is the name of the weapon. And her, this weapon is so powerful. It's an amazing rifle. Once you get an ACOG sight and all the nice attachments onto it, it is a very powerful rifle. You can get out of sticky situations, you can aim down fast, you can move pretty fast with the rifle as well, and it does a very good amount of damage to the person or persons that you are trying to kill when you're playing in ranked, casual, whatever the case may be. Now, she also comes along with a very nice and very helpful launcher for the middle click ability, which can break down certain walls, it can break down roofs, it can even kill people in a little room and stuff like that. So it's very nice to have one of those handy as well. And of course, on top of all of the guns and the middle click ability and whatever, it also comes along with three of the C4s to break down walls, to break down uh, doors, hatches, whatever the case may be. It comes with three of them if you want that, but there's also other things you can switch it off for. But I do recommend rocking these three this character is very very versatile and amazing and one of the first characters you should get when you're first new to rainbow six you will not regret it you can learn so much off of using this character and you can just expand yourself and keep going with uh this character for the second character and number two here on the list we have thermite thermite is also a very good character to start off with thermite's middle click ability could break down any type of wall yes even reinforced walls it will break right through it it won't take down the whole wall but it will give it a big square for you and your team to go through for you to lean over and pop some enemies on the point anything you guys need to do thermite's little uh middle click will let you guys do it through those walls it's a very good very nice character to use the gun is also very op and very helpful it's very powerful it's full automatic as well so you don't need to be clicking your mouse too much you can just hold it when you're shooting it's really nice you can get a lot of kills especially if they don't take any shots at you and especially if they don't even see you coming you are very very uh what's the word precise uh, kill ahead of you guys now this gun does not have too much kick but with the attachments that you guys can put on it it will have no kick at all you guys won't have too much recoil especially when you're getting shot which is a big problem in this game and you guys will be able to have uh the advantage above those people who can't break through those walls and you can be there to get the kills first be there to get to the point first whatever it is that you need to do thermite is your guy very good character to start off with you get to learn the game a lot faster with using a character like him and uh yeah now let's go ahead and move on to the next character for this next character we're going to be talking about sledge sledge is a very good character as well his gun is pretty okay you know from really close distance not very close but from medium to close distance range area that would be a pretty good gun to use but he also has his sledge hammer which can really help out your team immensely guys so mainly you can break down walls you can break down barricades on top of breaking all that down you can even use it as a melee weapon guys yes you can go around sneak behind them and sledge them and it's a one hit kill it's <laughs> it's actually really cool guys if you think about it now on top of that he also has a grenade option where he can sell his grenade or i said sell his grenade he could throw his grenade and stuff like that that is really cool to use and it's 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 pretty nice because grenades do 
a lot of damage and they're really OP. They do a really good amount of damage in a big open area, so you can do a lot with stuff like that. So I re really recommend getting a, him and you know advancing his weapons with attachments and stuff like that and getting used to playing with him. If you get really good with him and his little sedge hammer, you will be a big help to your team. You just gotta know how to use it, when to use it, be there at the right time, at the right place. And other than that, let's move on to the next character. Next character we're gonna be talking about is Fuse. Now guys, if you look here on this gameplay I'm showing you guys right now, this is a Fuse gameplay. Now with the right teamwork, Fuse can be so OP, so helpful, and so insane to gameplay and ranked and in casual as you guys can see in this clip right here he is one of the best characters that you can use especially with the right teammates if you guys are communicating and stuff like that so mainly his middle click is something that you can put into a a wall certain types of walls you can put it on the little barricades for windows and stuff like that and the ones that cover the big doors and all that type of stuff you can put them on there and then it shoots a grenade i think four times it shoots these four little things in there that scatter around and it could literally kill everyone in the room at the same time and i believe you i don't know if you get more than one i think it's three if i'm not mistaken you get more than one but um regardless of the fact it's really OP. It's really helpful. The gun is also really good as well. I have a lot of fun using the gun. Um, I usually, usually I don't really get too many kills with my middle click. I get more of the kills with the gun. It's really OP if you get shots above the above the chest, like chest and up. If you get kill uh, shots there, you get more of a chance to actually succeed the kill. Fuse is a really good character, but it does involve you knowing a little bit more about the game. A little bit of more of a sense with stuff and things like that and then you can start using fuse uh, fuse is not someone I recommend for someone who just got the game I reckon more recommend more ash or thermite but fuse is a really good character also for people who got the game and they've been playing for a week they've understand it so far and they want to play it with with it on casual I do recommend fuse Now for the next and final character, we are going to be talking about Glass. He is more of an advanced character, so stay tuned for this. Now he has a really nice sniper type weapon, guys. So the middle click gives you the scope that you can put on your weapon. Uh, it takes away the other scope that it has, and you can see through the smoke. It acts as a sniper. You can see through smokes, which your character also has. You can throw a smoke in somewhere. No one can see but you, since you will be the only Glass there. And you just pop everyone in that room without them knowing, guys. You just pop them. You see where they're at. They're, and it's not like a bad scope either. It's really nice. Everyone's highlighted yellow uh, on the enemy side. It's so good, guys. I really do think that Glass is one of the most advanced and best players to play with. When you get more into the game and you advance yourself and you get better and you start knowing how things work, I think Glass is someone that you should pick up. Um, usually I would rock a suppressor on the, on the sniper as well. So no one can really know where I'm coming from. It's really helpful to have a suppressor, but it's all about what you guys think is better for you and what helps you guys out and what makes you better at the game with this character. But anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of the top five attack characters here on my channel, guys. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to smack a like button, make sure to subscribe if you're new and comment down below. If you guys have different opinions on these characters or if you guys want me to add certain characters into the Defenders uh, one for the next video. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I would really appreciate it. You guys do help me out a tremendous amount with these videos with all the comments and the likes and the support and everything else in between. You guys are amazing. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.